meet Melaku when his father died and he became an orphan, he ended up becoming a street child and homeless for seven years. From being a street boy to traveling the whole world, giving lectures even at Ivy League universities like Harvard, he now owns the very place where he requested to sleep when he was homeless. Here is his story. Salam, Demnalachi. So, um, in this very amazing place, this is pretty random, but this man has a very inspiring story. I've made a couple of videos from Fendika, so I mean, most of you, my subscribers, you know Fendika, you know that place where you can enjoy Ethiopian, authentic, traditional Ethiopian music, creativity, you know, and just amazing company and good people. So, he is the owner. He says he doesn't like, he says it's for all of us. But this is the man, the brain behind Fendika. Introduce yourself. Thank you for coming in Fendika. And I'm happy. That's why we're opening to welcome everybody to feel home. My name is Malaku Balai. I'm a, a dancer. Try to be disturb the stage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it. So you say you started this place uh, when you started working here. What were you doing you with... Know, the former owner of the place. I am in. Um, I born in Addis Ababa, Addis Ababa capital town of Ethiopia, East Africa. As a, when I'm the age of three, my mom she left me in Sudan refuge because of politics. Mm -hmm. I grown up. My father, uh, stepfather. I don't know my father. When Balai now uh, my cousin, uh, the name of my father, he's a soldier too. He's also go to South Korea to support Second World War for South Korea. Mm -hmm. I think from Africa, uh, uh, replacing to support in uh, South Korea, 6,000 soldiers. Mm -hmm. So they come back, uh, when he come back, and I grown up under his leg to listen about Ethiopian history. He teach me about his how much proud. And also when I'm grown up, I want to be one the person of to make proud Ethiopia wow. from, with my talent. Mm -hmm. I'm a dancer, it's a gift. I start, my mother told me to mm -hmm. dance. Mm -hmm. And I grown up, my society welcomed me to develop mm -hmm. real life in the street. Mm -hmm. So my soldier father and cousin, when they die, I go out in the street. I'm a street children. You are street child yeah. at some point. Yeah, six months and I sleep in the street. Oh no. Even I start Fendika and when I got tip, no salary, I go out to share my money with uh, my oh. friends. And after I ask permission in Fendika to sleep under the bar, I sleep seven years. Oh, and you are sleeping at, fin at the yeah, bar? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Seven years. And after 12 years, I rent Fendika the first time. 2008, I start salary for this Asmari and dancer, musician, dancers. The first time in Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa means 10 million people living in the town. Mm -hmm. But traditional music and people, when listen traditional music and dance, proud. Mm -hmm. But still they see under the society. Mm -hmm. And so that I start salary and become starting compose and comp uh, choreograph, become the place interesting. They come. 2009, I create called Ethio Color Band. So I start uh, create my things. Mm -hmm. Also, at the same time, I'm traveling all over the world as a solo, as a rock band, as a heavy metal band, as a contemporary, as a flamenco, and with anything. And also, I give workshop like Harvard University and uh, many universities like Santa Catherine University, Minnesota, ah. in France, in Italy. You Spain. gave a workshop? Yeah, I did. Oh, even in Harvard? Yeah. Yeah, look at you now. <laughs> you're so, I'm so proud of you. Yes. Like, I mean, your journey is quite inspiring from being a street child yeah. to owning this very beautiful place. Yeah. I love it. And one thing I love is the fact that it's intergenerational. Yeah. Like when I was last year, you see young people to old people performing. That's really unique. Uh, still, there is no from the government side to support or fund. Just what I sell, uh, homemade honey wine or areke. That wine is nice. <laughs> I tasted yeah. it. I love it. That money income 
uh, to the artist to pay. Uh -huh. And also, uh, when I travel all over the world, my income coming and I invest 200% for friendly car. Uh -huh. So this way it develop, and that's why I become also this all award from all over the world. Oh, all these uh, awards from all over the world. Yeah, this is from uh, 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 Morocco. These are for music, best uh, person of the year. Okay. And uh, this is from France, Chevalier Donner. Uh huh. His medal. Uh huh. This is a person of the year in Ethiopia. This one is from Ethiopia. Yes. Person of the year. Yes. Oh, you famous. Yeah. <laughs> no, just Malaku. <laughs> this is uh, World Laureate uh -huh. from Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah, Prince Claus Award. Uh huh. And they send me twenty-five thousand euro. Oh. Plus. And this competition, like. 82 countries from all over the world mm -hmm. becomes a second round in 42 uh -huh. becomes seven so two african one from ghana one from here and seven countries in all over the world so the big and, also, and then you won yeah yeah just and, say uh, it and, uh, <laughs> he's so humble, he's very humble. About it. Yeah. what is make me happy this award yeah. he researched for two years without i didn't know you know without knowing Oh, they researched about your center? Yeah, and so whatever individual, each country, uh -huh. you select and after they research behind you. Uh -huh. And so that you, you mean to win, it oh, means a lot. So, wow. Oh, so I, you didn't even know, I like you are not expecting yeah. it. So oh. this kind of thing. Is this you when you are baby? This is when I'm baby, this is my children. Oh. That this is uh, amazing there. king of Ethiopian saxophone. Oh, uh -huh. he died at the age of 82 uh -huh. five years ago. This is the father of Ethiopia, Mulatu Astadke. I love him. Uh -huh. So, this is me. Oh, and this concert in France, we did in New York and stuff. My t-shirt in Ethiopia. I'm gonna wear oh this on. God. We're gonna wear this on Friday. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, my tea. Oh yay! I got some gifts. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Why did you start this place? It's, it's my dream and I'm my love. Because also uh, I'm angry. As much we have in the country resource in secret, world missing that because of news. Uh -huh. Only war and hunger. Uh -huh. but we have a lot to give for the world as a knowledge. What is freedom? Uh -huh. um, what is uh, astronomy? What philosophy uh -huh. is? And what is alphabet or language? Uh -huh. so only in Africa have that. Okay. And we are African, proud African. Uh -huh. And we can uh, to give a lot in the culture, anything. We are people, love people to give without expecting. Mm -hmm. So to tell that I'm lucky I have a gift dance and I start learning in my mother told me and still I am practicing. Oh. Uh, so how long have you been running this place? Uh, I mean, as I'm a professional dancer. I'm working for 23 years in Fendika uh -huh. before another owner. Uh -huh. Fendika is be, like call me Asmari traditional music place, uh -huh. nothing another activity. Uh -huh. But after 12 years, I work, I start renting in 2008. Uh -huh. I start uh, my ego. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> is a compose, choreograph, the traditional. Asmari music is like under the society, but the source of Ethiopia. You know, is Ethiopian music father called Santi Arid. Mm -hmm. He is uh, wrote in a music not even 12th century before Mozart and Beethoven. Mm -hmm. We have in a music note. Okay. So in a lot of uh, string, in instrument. I mean, as African, mm -hmm. we have, you can see the history, String, beat, brass instrument, he can produce from Africa mm -hmm. and all over the world. Mm -hmm. And so that history, 
to give, we are proud and African Unite and uh, many history to tell as a confidence. So, uh, Fandika, uh, when uh, I start 2008, and after when the government they want to destroy this area, the name of development. Oh, and this area called Kazanj's neighborhood, mm -hmm. 17 Azumari place like this in Fandika, small cover it, not like this big. Mm -hmm. And because of the name of development, they destroy it. Mm -hmm. So I start asking to buy the, from the owner. Right now, we stand this room. The owner, he give if. his bedroom, he give birth seven children. But not only that, himself he born this room. Oh. Is this room that means from mud is making 101 years ago. So this house was made a hundred years ago? Yeah, one hundred one years ago. This is a mud from mud. Oh, one hundred and one. Yeah. That's awesome. So, uh, a lot of people would be interested to know when is the center open? Are you open daily? Uh, like, tell us about the schedule, yeah. about the center and what they can expect when you they know, come. You know, Fandika is, uh, I have a gallery. That is, I give by free for artists I never charge. Uh -huh. Every month is changed almost for two years is booking. Uh, I have an, uh, the month, the first start Saturday, and poetry mm -hmm. in the uh, afternoon. Any language people come to express same feeling. Uh -huh. And Asmari music every night. Mm -hmm. Monday, I love jazz original arrangement. The best musician in the country, mm -hmm. even internationally, they are deep and the teacher. And also uh, open forum for jam session from all over the country, uh, the world. And Friday is my band called Ethio Color. You can see three generation. Mm -hmm. I have also my collection vinyl, very hard to find right now. Uh, from 60s, 70s, Ethio Jazz vinyl. I'm a collector, and I play for one hour every Friday. Mm -hmm. And what time on Fridays? Nine until ten, the DJ uh, vinyl. Uh -huh. From ten until one o'clock, the concert in Ethio Color. Mm -hmm. Coming Friday, and the other Friday, I give a space for the young jazz musician, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the new band. They start last Friday. Mm -hmm. So uh, other Friday, the band jazz band. Rasmari and uh, library I open the library 1000 book from US I bring it that to uh, world art book uh, world uh, poetry and photographer and dance and music and also one shelf in Ethiopian history so people to have exchange of experience and to put young generation them on book or research to writing. Mm -hmm. So the library 24 hours. And so Fandika is 24 hours open. Okay, so the beauty of this place is that it's for 24 hours open. Yeah. Last question. Uh, what advice would you give to young people who have dreams? I mean, your story is quite inspiring. Yeah. You started it uh, like at certain point in your life. You were in the streets. You yeah. came to sleep in this place. You were yeah. sleeping at this place, and then now you end up being the owner. You say we are the owners, but you know, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, of the owner of this place. So, what advice would you give to young people who have? dreams or maybe they feel helpless because you must have dreamt you probably knew one day you are gonna own this place uh just one thing first i don't uh, like to have my thing in my in this world uh -huh. it's people i'm as a street children i grown up everybody's my father my mother uh -huh. my sister my brother and feeding me mm -hmm. control me uh teaching me so the idea is i give back and it's not my thing. Uh -huh. And the other thing is why I keep that even the harder time, I don't have food or I don't have clothes or I don't have house, I never change what I have a gift inside me. Mm -hmm. I'm looking inside me. So nothing else more than my talent. Mm -hmm. And I avoid to, I never change my profession because of survival. Mm -hmm. Whatever I sleep, mm -hmm. I enjoy it. 
Mm-hmm. I will not sleep. I enjoy it. When I'm dry, it's not. I can't do nothing. Okay. And so why I'm a believer. God, why He created me, He can feed me. You know. So I don't care other things. I continue until my heart beat stop. And so in this way become imagine. I finished eight passport traveling all over the world wow. without any manager. And so and when I go, I come back without salary. I work in Fendic, I sleep under the bar. Many of my friends, why you come back? You don't have family, you don't have salary, you don't have uh, food. Why you come back in, from Europe, from America? So I'm tired of to explain my vision. Mm-hmm. I love my country. I can't stay more than one month in from my country. And so I'm lucky this age to succeed. But again, uh, Fendika is not mine. It's ours. It is ours. <laughs> and I uh, will continue through the art, I believe, to save the world, gender equality, justice, freedom. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching this short, amazing interview. Make sure that whenever you visit Ethiopia, if you want to experience the culture, Fendika is the place to visit. Uh, he shared the days that you can find. Actually, there's something going on every day. There's a library, there's a gallery, and this place is literally open 24 hours. Yes. So thank you so much for hosting us. Thank you. And thank you for this amazing yes. gift. So he gave yes. me this amazing yes. gift. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're so kind. And if you see him in Fendika when you come, just say hi to him because he's not like those boss boss. You know what I mean? So he talks to everybody. He's always smiling. Yes, uh, you give me a smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's always smiling. And when you come to Fendika, Tell him African Tigress sent you here. Oh, thank you. So until next time. We love you. Bye bye. Bye bye. In, See um, you in, soon. in the language, in your language. Salam Hunu. Salam Hunu. Salam Hunu. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.